G'day everyone, in this video today we're going to go over how to do data change animations in the GT Title Designer. Now in order to create custom animations or use them in vMix, you will need to have vMix 4K or Pro. Now if you did have one of these versions and you wanted to play around with our animated templates just to see how they work, you could go to the program files in vMix, go to the titles and then go to the GT uh, titles in order to open one of the templates in the GT Title Designer. That'll give you a really good idea of how all the animations work. So what is a data change animation? This type of animation allows you to add a transition when you change data in vMix. So for example, if you had a scoreboard and you wanted to change the text on the scoreboard, you could do a transition when you changed that data. So now I'm going to show you how to set that up. All right, so here we are in vMix. So I'm just going to go to add input and add a title. So I'm going to go to the first scoreboard here and click OK. Now, what I'm going to do is just overlay this so we now have our title available. So if I now go to the home score text and I change this to something like 2, you'll notice that the content faded in and faded out, zoomed in, zoomed out um, as it faded. So that's what a data change animation does. So we have it also set up for the away score as well. So if I set this to 4, you notice it does a zoom fade when it changes. And if I change it again, same thing again. So now I'm going to show you how to set that up in the GT Title Designer. Alright, so I've loaded up a version of this scoreboard without any of the animations and now I'm going to show you how to set it up. Alright, so what you need to do is work out what you want the data change to happen on, like what element you want to change. So as we showed you before, we had the home score. So we had the animations on the home score when we actually changed the content on the home score. So we've selected the home score here and as you can see it's highlighted this element here. Then we need to go to the animations section. So if you've used the GT title designer before, you'll know about the transition in and transition out. So that's for the generally for different elements uh, and layers on your title. But if you go down a little bit further, you'll see things like data change in, data change out, and all the different elements that have their own data change in and data change out abilities. So if we set the data change in here on the home score, it means that we can set some animations based on data changes. Now this data change in is a global data change. So if any data changes happen in the title, it means that it's going to perform this animation. Now that's something that you might consider for certain things. However, because we want to change a specific text field, so this home score, we want to make sure that we have that selected. So we don't have a data change on something else and the home score updates. We want to be changing the score on the home score and then activating the animations. So hopefully that made sense. So what we're going to do here is, is select data change in on the home score.txt. So by selecting that, whenever we make a data change to the home score in vMix, this animation is going to happen. So at the moment, if you remember, we had the animations. So we had the animations here. I'll just quickly go back to what they were. So we update this. So we had a zoom fade. So as you can see there, when the data changed, it changed on the home score as a zoom fade. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you something a little bit different. So what I'm going to do here is select it. And let's try in a fly. So we're going to do a fly from the side. So it's going to leave in the left hand side and then we're going to make it come back in the right hand side. So we've selected fly. We've got the duration as 0.2 because we really don't want it to go for too long because uh, you, when you change the score, you want it to happen pretty quickly. You don't want to have to wait half an hour. People want to know what the score is. So we've set that up and that's the direction that it's going to leave in. Now we're going to select data change out for the home score text. We're going to select fly again uh, and then we're going to select, we'll go point 0.2 again and then we're going to select this direction because this is the direction that it's going to come from when it changes. Alright, so let's just hit play here and see, we can firstly see what the data change in looks like. So it's going to leave on the left hand side and then we'll select the data change out and we'll try that and it will leave, enter on the right hand side. So that's how you do it. Uh, that's how you set up the data change. So if you want the data change to occur for the home score, uh, make sure that you select it uh, and then make sure that you go into the home score, the corresponding uh, area, if you want the updates to happen 
to the same area. So I'm hoping all of this makes sense. It is a little bit confusing, um, but that's, uh, that's how you do it. So I'm going to save this now and I'm going to add it to vMix. So we'll just see to make sure that it happens. So we go to title. If you remember, if you save something in the GT title designer, it will appear here in the recent. Um, and so let's load it up and let's see if it does the fly in. Yep, so that's it. That's how we set up a data change for that. Okay, so we could go ahead and what we would do is we would do it for the away score as well. So we select away score, we make sure that we go to the corresponding area that we want the uh, the transitions to happen on. So it would be away score dot text. So we could do the fly in from the side like that and then out, fly in, make this point two as well and from the other side and then we'll go to save and go to vmix, we'll load, reload this uh, and then we'll go to title editor, go to away score and we can set this up like so. So there we go, that's how you set up a data change in and data change out. Um, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to send us an email via the support page on vmix.com because it's very hard to answer technical questions with YouTube comments. So thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.